After watching the washouts, I asked myself, why did Scootaloo rebel against Rainbow Dash? Right when I thought this meeting would stroke Rainbow Dash's ego, she instead served some humble pie. So we're introduced to this new group called the Washouts. But how cool can they really be? Like the Wonderbolts, just 20 bajillion percent cooler! Ha 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 ha! Hey Nick, I see what you did there. It needs to be about 20% cooler. But I have no idea what to think about it. It'd be like if Apple Bloom started loving bananas more than apples. Y'all tell me if that ever happens, you hear? Okay, Applejack, I certainly will. But I hope you won't go bananas. <laughs> okay. Popcorn and cotton candy, rip up! I don't think the Wonder Bolts invented popcorn and cotton candy. That was Discord's doing. Thanks, Discord. Cotton candy, 3 bits. Popcorn to share with your best friends, 5 bits. Seeing the washouts wash away Rainbow Dash's lurry face, priceless. Wow, those stunts are breathtaking and very much dangerous. Just one mistake can be fatal, so she should. <gasps> okay, good. That was a good trick, but not as good as the great and powerful Trixie. She did it much better. So naturally, Rainbow Dash and Scootaloo are curious to find out who these washouts are, and they find out they are ex Wonderbolts. You got a skull faced Dozzy, and a small supply of endless rage. Anger issues, get on my back! Oh, and no way! A blast from the past! It's lightning dust! You unleashed a tornado that nearly demolished my friends! So let the sparks fly! I'm going to need more popcorn! Oh, apparently not. They quickly reconnect as friends, reminiscing on their academy days. Oh, huh, never mind. Their philosophies of safety versus fun split their short-sighted good spirits. This frenemy exchange is really confusing. But something that is not confusing is knowing whose side Scootaloo is on. So Rainbow Dash brings in the big lungs to shake some sense into her in a completely over-the-top, overly intense, eardrum ringing rant that ultimately backfires when Scootaloo joins none other than the washouts. I confess that at first I thought Scootaloo was just in a rebellious phase in her life, joining a new club to stretch her own identity and exercise more independence from Rainbow Dash. But that all changed when she poured out her breaking heart saying this. you wanted to hear. After that, my heart was breaking for this character. Her motivation wasn't about rebellion, it was really about the pain of accepting that her dream of flying side by side with Rainbow Dash was unattainable. With that in mind, as irrational as it was to choose the reckless lightning dust over her friend, it is understandable that the demolition of her old dream wanted her to build a new vision with a new pony. Unfortunately, not only did this new idol try to use manipulation to get her way, she forced the young fool to participate in a reckless stunt just to improve the ratings of the show with absolutely no regard to her safety. <sighs> Lightning Dust should have known to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but rather in humility, value others above yourself. Luckily, she has a close friend that will always be there to save the day. That doesn't mean I can't swoop in and save you from time to time. But having said that, Rainbow Dash is just as guilty of being vain and prideful. At least she learned that when pride arises, disgrace will follow. But with humility comes wisdom. And in her wisdom, she acknowledged her wrongdoing and decided to exalt the humble by starting her own fan club for Scootaloo to show that she doesn't have to be a good flyer to be exceptional. The big thing I want to talk about is Scootaloo's wings. Do you think that this episode proves beyond a doubt that Scootaloo cannot fly? Speaking of flying, what the heck happened to Lightning Dust? So how do you feel about Lightning Dust's return? Will the Scootaloo fan club go to her head? And will Rainbow Dash learn from her three-course meal of humble pie and learn to be as humble, courteous, and dignified as me? Oh, oh dear. 
It seems I too can get a little bit carried away with my pride and let it get the best of me at times. Ugh, sorry. But anywho, I previously made a video asking if Scootaloo should be able to fly. And if you want to know my thoughts on the matter, then click here. Thank you so much for watching. I am truly blessed to have such an engaged viewer like you. So get out there and be a blessing. Thanks for watching and God bless.